the tip here today is how to use the compression in the file format itself to save disk space because anyone who's worked with large files knows I mean a lot of the time your files are going to start eating up your hard drive space real quick I know my artwork folder ate up 60 gigs in no time at all so what you can do is when you save your image and I only have this one open because it uses red and red is a really good example of when artifact or artifacts pop up but if I was to save this file here as a JPEG um, you can see the lower you put your quality if you have preview checked you can see all these artifacts coming up this is what is called lossless or the opposite of lossless this is lossy compression because things are being lost clearly data is being compartmentalized here and your your documents not going to look this good when you open or it's going to look like this it's not going to look good when you open it again um things that are saved for the web are usually saved right around a quality of nine and they look fine but if you were to save your files over and over and over again not only would they not have layers but they would look like crap and they would get worse and worse every time you did it so most people in order to avoid this would take a file like I'm gonna take this one here and they would do save as and they would save it as a PSD file because these are layered and they are lossless when you open them back up they look as good as they did when you first saved them this is a good idea however granted if you check layers sorry side note this is a good idea but it'll eat your hard drive space because PSD files are essentially just sort of shells that hold all of your layers so if you have a file that has I don't know upwards of 20 50 however many layers when you save your PSD file let's see if I can find one here actually when you save your PSD file like here this one's 108 megs um, because all it's doing is pretty much just storing raw data for well that one doesn't have any layers but it's storing raw data for every layer so the tip to bring down your file size but still keep it lossless is if you use um, I really should have prepared this has got it I need one with layers here oh here I'll just okay so say you have this file with all these layers this one has like eight you would do save as and pick tiff and then under and make sure layers is checked or this tip is pretty pointless hit save and then for your tip tiff compression options under image compression you would pick zip now the key here is that and you would pick it down here as well under layer compression zip compression is a compression of data it is not a compression of image image compression will compress compress your image with the artifacts that you saw earlier when I was bringing the quality way down on a JPEG and it got all chewed up um, it might have been hard to see because that's the same kind of compression these videos are going to use and showing compression through compression doesn't work very well but the tip here is that if you use zip compression and zip compression here what that does is it saves the file as raw data and then compresses the data so that when you reopen the file it just uncompresses the data that will be the same as saving your file as a PSD file however your file size will be like one tenth the size so a PSD that was 108 megs would come down to maybe 18 megs or 10 megs um, it, if you want to see an idea of what zip compression does just save your file off as a PSD file and then use WinZip or WinRare or something to add it to an archive and zip it and what you'll see happens is your PSD file will shrink to about 10 megs but that's because it's a PSD file that has been zipped with that program if you just use zip compression in Photoshop um, your file size will go from a 108 meg PSD file to a 10 meg TIFF file without having to use an external program to 
exert the zip compression on your file. So there you have it. To save space, use TIFFs, use layers, use zip compression. Your image will look fine. It'll save a lot of space. May open a little bit slower, but honestly, I think it's worth it. That's your tip. Uh, yeah, hope it helped. Come, come on back for more.